What's going on, man? It's Derek Irvin, Urban Connect in Louisville. And um, we, we just got standing here, Charles Burns. He's one of the upcoming youth. He does a lot. What you got going for yourself, man? Um, right now, I'm in a whole bunch of programs. I'm on a teen leadership council at Louisville Central Community Centers. I'm a secretary of Black Achievers. Um, I play golf, I do basketball. I'm on a one plus one singing group. And I work, you know, I'm currently an expo slash serve at a restaurant. And I'm just trying to, you know, get scholarships, make them good grades, and apply to life and be good. Where you go to school at? I go to Ballard High School. I'm a junior. Junior, have you thought about college yet? Oh, yes, I've thought about college. Um, it's either going to be some in between Clark Atlanta University or UFL, which one goes best. But I like both of them. What's your inspiration? My inspiration? Hmm, that's a hard one. I would have to say my family. I would have to say my family. You know, I've been through everything with them, and I'm just trying to, you know, bring us up as a whole. As an up-and-coming youth doing a lot, um, the events like these, what, what does it do for you? Because you're, you're already doing a lot, you know, and this is to help, you know, do the right thing. Yeah. It helps me realize that there's more to life instead of, you know, running on the streets and just hanging out. You know, you have to actually apply to life and actually do stuff to get more involved. You know what I'm saying? And then you will realize how valuable it is, so you won't take it for granted. I like that. I like that. Well, so the youth that's, you know what I'm saying, may not be as, you know, prosperous as you are, what message do you have to them? My message is get out there, you know, apply yourself to life. Don't just be in the house all the time. Go explore stuff, different programs, see what you can do. What are you things you like to do? And maybe you can apply that to help yourself in life. Maybe that'll open up some doors and opportunities. Well, keep doing good things, man. It's nice to have you here, man. Urban Connect in Louisville, Charles Burns. We're here one more again here with a very important individual, my man, Sean Gardner. What's going on, brother? Hey, not a whole lot. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, what's you doing here today? Well, today I was here to support uh, the Urban League Do the Right Thing Expo, and I was one of the judges of the oratorical contest. And I tell you what, it was a tough one. It, it was a tough one. That Brittany, that Brittany Brown sister in high school, uh, she almost made me cry. Right, right. I mean, you got a lot of talent up here, man. It's good that, you know, we're here on 4th Street Live right here, you know, primetime real estate here in Louisville. The youth doing their thing. We got a lot of people come out here to support it. You've been doing your thing for a minute, man. I know, you know, you came out to support this, man, but you got some things going on yourself, man, that you need to be recognized for. I know you don't ask for a lot of recognition, man, but let the people know exactly what you got going on you know, in, in your life and what, what you're really backing right now and your movement you have going on. Well, of course, uh, 291 Fatherhood of, Fam uh, Fatherhood of Families. I'm the founder of that. Been doing it now for five years. Uh, we have our conference coming up October the 14th. Uh, it's going to be at Jefferson County, uh, Jefferson Community Technical College. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, we uh, have a full day plan, and we also, during our conference, do our award ceremony to recognize fathers who uh, sometimes we just don't celebrate fatherhood. So at our conference, we're trying to give uh, exposure to fatherhood, resources, uh, talk about services that are existing, and uh, try to give uh, information to different community organizations uh, to help them better improve their fatherhood efforts. Now, do you have a website where people can check you out at, or how can they get in contact with you if they want to get involved with what you're doing? 2not1.org is the website. The number two, the word not, the number one.org. Uh, also, 2not1 is on Facebook, and 2not1 is also on Twitter. Just like that, 2not1. Now, well, make sure you go check my man out, d Ma and Sean Gardner, doing a lot for the fathers out there who need to be recognized for what they're doing. You know, we got a lot of mothers who's being recognized, but I know we go through, we it has some debates on, you know, Facebook about, you know, men, men calling, well, women calling themselves, well, saying happy, happy Father's Day or happy, you know, to, to the moms and stuff like that. So this man is really, you know, just real quick, but just talk about that situation when females are saying, uh, all right, well, I'm a father on Father's Day, and they think they should get recognized for being a father on Father's Day. Oh, man, that, that, you know, here, here's the thing. Uh, uh, two not one. I guess to go. Let me take it a step back further. 
Two Not One uh, at the core is talking about moms and dads communicating effectively together to raise their children. And it's, and it's gotten to the point, a lot of people ask me, well, who's your target population? I, you know, when, it, when I first started this work, I was like, nah, I don't have a target population. My target population is just fathers. However, the reality is the most hardest impact fathers are in the black community. And I, and I go there because that conversation that you're talking about, that debate uh, when you on Mother's Day, or no, let me say, on Father's Day, when you hear mom says, well, happy Father's Day to another mom. Well, I understand what you're saying. What you're saying is I'm doing this all by myself, and you do want that recognition. But I also believe that the more we do that, the more we already take away from the almost, the almost non-existent father in the community. So we have to get back to making sure that we recognize and identify the specific roles that we bring to the table. I'm a father, my day is in June, mom's day is, is in May. It's not to take away anything from that mom, but we have to make sure that we're very clear on our roles because it's almost getting to the point that in the black community, the father's almost non-existent. If you think about it, when we think about fatherhood, what goes with that? Dad be absent. It's very seldom that you hear something good. It's almost like we don't want to do any research on the fathers that do exist. You're a father. Your kids are right over there. I'm a father with their mom today. So at the end of the day, it's, it's trying to make sure that we all understand the importance of fatherhood and don't take away anything from moms. Absolutely, man. Y'all see the passion. Y'all hear the passion in this man's voice. He's serious about this topic, and it's a topic that we got to talk about, recognizing the father. I'm man, Shar Gardner, Urban Connect. We're signing out right now. Peace, brother. Man, thanks for love. Absolutely. What's up, man? It's Dirk Urban back again, Urban Connect. We're, we're here with a couple of stars of the talent show. What's your name? King AD. Trill. What was the experience up there when y'all was performing? How did y'all like it? I was a little nervous at first, then I got used to it, then I got happy. So I just started rapping. Yeah, when I got on stage, I mean, I was rapping fast. I kind of got nervous at first, but then when I got into it, I just let it go. It's natural? Yeah. All right, what, what schools y'all go to? Barnsley. I go to JCTMS. Y'all doing good in school? Y'all got good grades and stuff? Yeah. What y'all going to do in the future? Wherever God takes me. I like it. I'm just going to try to get my rap game together and stuff, because my brother be getting in the studio, so I'm going to continue with that. I can't be mad at y'all, man. Y'all did a good job up there, man. Urban Connect. Right now, we're chilling with another group from the talent show. And the unique thing about this group is that they're all cousins, two cool nation. What's your names, man? Introduce yourself. My name is Illy. My name is Lil Bird. All set. Lil Ski is pocket full of ears. Look. Look greedy. Look cool. G Papa Top Shotter. All right, man. So, what I want to ask is, how did this group come about? Uh, the parents, our parents, and us, of course. And y'all, of course. So, what's your inspiration in to do this? Y'all up there performing? Y'all having fun? What's your inspiration? Uh, family, our labels, and our parents. Anything y'all want to say to y'all parents and thankful? Uh, thanks for having us. Thanks for us. Thanks for giving us a good life. Did y'all like it up there? What was the experience? It felt good. It felt really good. I actually felt great. And... <laughs> it felt great? Yeah. All right, well, yeah, what, what can you check y'all out? You was talking about Facebook and Twitter. What else to get, could we get at to get at y'all? Uh, World Star. World Star YouTube. Uh, on Twitter, at 2 cool Nation. On uh, Facebook, I'm sorry at Tuku Nation. And uh, on YouTube, we got six videos. All right, there you have it. Tuku Nation, man. Stay in school and do your thing, man. Urban right, Connect. <laughs>